You know, every grandparent desires to spend time and love on their grandkids. Uh, Cameron happened to be our first, and he got a lot of attention. And of course, we fell in love with him deeply. Cameron's one of those unique individuals. He was incredibly intelligent. I'll never forget the first touchdown that he ever made. He had never been at running back ever before, and the first time they gave him the football, he ran for over 60 yards for a touchdown. Proud grandparents we really were. When he was about 14 years old, Cameron moved to Phoenix, Arizona. He happened to be a, an adrenaline junkie, and that drove him to take a lot of risks. Uh, drugs became one of the things that he really experimented with at about every level. When uh, he was uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 21 years old, he had now overdosed 11 times by that time, and we uh, got him out of rehab, brought him into our house. We thought he was pretty clean, and uh, he got hold of some fentanyl, and uh, it uh, really took his life devastating for all of our family. But I'll never forget one time when we were talking about his relationship to the Lord. He said to me, he said to Pop, uh, don't worry about me and my relationship to Christ. He said, I don't have a hole in my heart. My relationship to Jesus is good. So don't worry about me. I just want to know why I do what I do. And so we decided we wanted to stop addiction before it ever got started. Uh, many times rehab uh, is something that's just a band-aid, but it does not cure. And so we wanted to do something that stopped drug addiction before it ever got started. The kids that come here are who I was. My father was a bad alcoholic, so I know the feeling that these kids have of the shame, the rejection, it's my fault, and defenses that, that are up. We break those down when the kids come here. They go into therapy, they have tutoring. So when they find out, when they walk in the house, that, wow, they care about my grades, they start getting excited. When they get hopeful, it goes over to therapy. And with therapy, they get even more hopeful. The grades come up even more. It's the first house of its kind, and we're doing a study with Winget. Being the first house, how we're gonna stop generational trauma and we're already seeing the progress that these kids are making about caring. Along with the tutoring and the therapy, we do field trips with them. We go to roller skating, we're, we go fishing, things that are normally something you do, but these kids don't do. And we have a great shuttle bus that the town of Indian Trail gave us, and we put them all on there. We're like a family. There's family time at the end of their day when they come, and we go over a word of the day and the scripture that goes along with that word and they tell us what it means to them, and some of them are so pivotal and so deep that you forget that they're kids. So if they need food for families, um, we go and we get it, we sign them up for it so they have extra food in the house. If they need a mentor, we find them a mentor, we help them with a budget, and there is no shame, no rejection, absolutely no judgment, and it is a place of high energy and fun for them, the sky's the limit. These kids are gonna be rock stars one day. Not only that, their testimony is gonna help somebody. That's why this house is here.